What's up, what's up everybody? I am John Levesque. I'm a senior PM on the Flow team and I am here with you today for the first video in a many part series. What we're gonna do is, every week I'm gonna put out a challenge on Twitter. I'm gonna ask you guys, tell me something that you want me to solve and show you how to solve using Microsoft Flow and all its different connectors. I did it already this week, sorry you missed it. I know you're gonna get in on it next week, so go ahead and follow me on Twitter right here to get in on the action next week. But for this week, I put out the call and I said, all right, what should I solve on Twitter? Some of you guys got back to me. I had about eight to 10 responses. I picked four and I put them out to a vote. 10 of you guys responded to the challenge and said, I want you, John, to do a video on multi-step approvals. And so this week, that's what we're gonna do. We're going to dive into multi-step approvals. I'm going to show you guys how to build an approval flow. And then I'll give you some documentation and some additional links so you can go read some more. Let's jump in. All right. Here we are on the Flow website. So the first thing we're going to need to do an approval is something to approve on. Uh, you can see here I have set up a list where a designer could go and make a new entry for a project title with description, a link, and then the person that requested the item. Uh, I also have some hidden columns here which we won't get into, uh, but some steps that we will build into the flow later. Uh, the item that we're going to go ahead and approve is this awesome ebook PDF uh, that the team has created, the ultimate guide to rapid app development using Microsoft Flow, Power Apps, and SharePoint Online. I uh, recommend you guys go and seek this out. I will go ahead and put a link in the description so that you can get this also. All right, let's go build our flow. Let's go ahead and create from blank. And for the magic of video, I am going to build this flow in front of you and then speed this baby up drastically so that we can shorten this video down. What you'll want to do is if you want to go step by step, you'll want to kind of just slow it down, follow along. But uh, yeah, in the meantime, let's go. All right, so as you can see here, I am grabbing my list right now, connecting to it. I am going ahead and starting the approval on a new list item. I'm customizing the approval here. You can see that I'm making it really unique for our use case. Now I'm gonna go ahead and build a condition. So if the response is approved, then what? We're gonna send an email and we're gonna go ahead and send it to the person that is in charge of working on this project who created the list item. And we're gonna tell them that the first approval was done. Also going to add an email if their item is rejected. Now we're gonna go ahead and add an action that updates our SharePoint list with some items from the approval. So we can see content approval here. We're gonna put in their response, their comments, and the response date. We're gonna go ahead and add another approval in line here. So this is our second level approval. We'll say that this is the design team. First one was content. And here I am just personalizing it again, making it unique for our use case. And here's another condition. If that is approved, what are we going to do? We're going to go ahead and send another email again to the person in charge, letting them know this their item passed design approval and is moving on to uh, final level approver with the actual project requester. Okay. 
and we're going to go ahead and do another update to the SharePoint item based on the second level approval. You can see design comments, design, approve date. And here we go again. If no, we're going to also send an email saying, sorry, your item was rejected by design. Go ahead and check here to see why. And we'll insert some dynamic content of the comments that the design team left. Awesome. Done there. Next step. Another approval. And now we're going to go ahead and send this approval to the actual initial requester of the project, letting them know their project started, it passed content, it passed design. Now it's incumbent on them to say if they feel that the final approval is ready and that the item is ready uh, for distribution. So we go ahead and we add another final condition saying if approved, let's take another set of actions which is let's send an email again. We're going to send it to the person that created the item, letting them know that the item was final, had final approval from the requester. Saying breathe easy. Now we'll update the item again with all of the approval information from the project requester. And one final action will be to send an email to the project requester saying congrats, your project is completed, and then sending them a link to the item so that they can download it and then distribute it or do whatever they need to do with it. Perfect, we click done and we create our flow. Boom, voila. Okay, we created it. Awesome. Now, let's go ahead and make a list entry here and see if we can get this all to fire correctly. Project title ebook. All right, so we see the approval kick off. I'm gonna get an email here with the first one since I am on every single two line. There it is, awesome. We approve. I'm the content team right now. Content looks awesome. Submit back to the flow. We see that it hits the condition now to check if the approval happened, if yes. Awesome, sends an email, updates the item, starts the next approval. I should get that next. Look at here we go. Here's my email since I sent it off. Congrats, it passed content approval with my comments. Next approval, we hit design. I'm also now the design team. Design looks amazing. Submit that, baby. Here we go, back to the flow. Our approval number two, done. We see our third one start to light up here. Perfect. Send the email, update the item, start the third approval in the chain. Look at here we go, past design, looks amazing. Get sent to final approver. Who's the final approver? Oh my goodness, it's me. I'm the final approver. I requested this ebook weeks ago. Let's go see how it looks. After 10 redirects, does it take us there? It does. <gasps> Beautiful. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. Design and content. You guys killed it. Epic. Epic work. Okay. 
I go back to my email. I hit approve. I say, I love this so much. And I hit submit. Let's go back to the flow. Here we go, ready? Now, boom, yes. Condition number three gets met. Here we go, send the email, update the item. Now here I am, as the designer, congrats, you can breathe easy, the requester approved. And then me also, as the original requester, congrats, the project you requested, ebook, has reached completion. You can view the finished project here. Amazing, end to end, three approvals in a row, branching off one another, making sure that the first one approves before the second can all done in under 15 minutes with flow. Seriously, approvals to three different stakeholders, put that flow and list together in like under 20 minutes. I mean, talk about changing the way you work, right? All right guys, this is it for today. Uh, I'm gonna put out a call next week on Twitter. If you want to see me solve something, make sure you participate. Again, follow me here. Looking forward to seeing you guys. In the meantime, talk to me too, hit me up. Let's, uh, let's chat, let's collaborate. Let me know about your events. Let me know about how I can promote you. You wanna blog for me, come blog for me. Also, uh, for more info on these multi-step approvals, make sure and check out the description under the video. Peace, guys.